Welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 16 Hasu League Finals between Doodle and Fisheye. Up right hand corner. Game 3, I should say. Up right hand corner, we have Doodle starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Fisheye starting as the red Protoss. This is going to be on Butter this time. A fun one. Fun map. I think it might be my favorite of the new maps. And because I don't feel like there's much else to do, we're going to take a look at the natural expansion. Nice little grass where you'd plop down that Nexus. Pretty wide choke, but you can see where it's got a wide choke that's rampless towards the natural, which oftentimes I feel like if early, if in the early game players end up with a reaver advantage or dragoon advantage, they can oftentimes deny and block in their opponent into that natural expansion, and that's where uh, reaver play in particular can be devastating. I'm trying to think if I've seen a PvP on butter actually go to late or mid game. More often than not, it's decided fairly early. Usually in one of the pretty rapidly after some of the initial engagements. So we'll have to see who has the more successful early game. And I don't know who to call as far as the victor between these two guys. They both look really, really sharp right this second. We're seeing at least a single gateway opener. I don't know that double gate opener is the play on this map considering how Granted, it's rampless, but there is a massive rush distance, and it is two players, so you, your opponent can very easily get the scouting information. Both probes going to cross each other at near identical moments, which lets them know that they're on identical scouting patterns and most likely also identical builds. As a side factor, a simulator being warped in on both ends as well. So, yeah, this one could come down to just straight up micromanagement. I wouldn't be shocked, honestly, to see like a two gate robo or a three gate versus a mere build. Although Fisheye right the second, getting that cybernetic score a little bit later, just by a smidge. Probe sticking around for Doodle, probe sticking around for Fisheye, getting an eyeful of information, nothing too crazy. We do have the three probes and gas. No variation thus far, both players going for that initial zealot on 16. A little bit. I don't like this sort of play, the pylon along that edge. Sometimes skilled players can punish opponents for doing that. Oftentimes it's to try to blockade that probe movement, but what probes can sometimes do is seal themselves in along that back wall and then drop matter pylons or other shenanigans. Zealot gonna go ahead and try to deal. Ooh, look at that. Vicious probe kill from Doodle, and that is gonna give him a solid advantage to start. Zealot takes hits, but Fisheye falling asleep at the wheel a little bit there. Dragoon being constructed, or, or do I want to... I don't know, I think that was more Fisheye falling asleep because that probe was just sitting there wailing on the mineral line, but that let's see if the probe also escapes or wants to go in for more blood. Going to give Doodle the one worker lead, and like I said, especially in mirror matchups, especially that early, that's actually a sizable victory for Doodle. Fisheye's got some work to do. Range upgrading, he is. So we already have the three pylons interior to Doodle's main. Another pylon dropping now for Fisheye. Starting to stage out to maybe go one gate into expand. Doodle opening up his own lurker egg, which leads me to believe he's going to go a little bit more gateway heavy because he wants faster reinforcement across to, uh, into his natural expansion. Fisheye Already sending out a rapid scout, or maybe is this to drop a pylon and some hidden tech at the 9 o'clock? We'll have to see. So thus far, staging Dragoons and the Zealot towards the natural expansion to maybe deny information. Doodle going into, yeah, one gate robo to follow things up. Range just about finished for both players. But this could be an X-Factor, and I don't know that that's a probe to check the natural expansion as much as it might be one to either sneak an expansion at a distance location and deny... Its existence, maybe go for a quick three, or maybe even go for Proxy Robo himself. Maybe just the late scout, I'm making too much of that probe. So it's going to be one gate into Nexus. With a followed up second gateway. Doodle has gone, yeah, he's gone three gate. Three gate Robo. Hmm. So Fisheye, noticing the lack of natural expansion... Also observatory and pylon along that edge. Noticing the lack of natural expansion is going to be up to, to Fisheye. 
he's going to have the three gateways to follow up. And this is where that robotics facility really doesn't provide an additional advantage to Doodle in the overall build order. He'll get better information to start, but this is going to give him a delayed natural expansion, giving Fisheye the overall worker advantage, although Fisheye supply blocked himself right this second. Now kicking it in. As long as Fisheye keeps up with the back row and drops his own robotics facility, summarily, ooh, probe getting walked out and killed, it looks like. And, and as long as Fisheye doesn't drop the ball in the early game micro fights, he's going to have better saturation, double the probe count, and he should be able to drop some additional tech that's supported through having basically just a superior economy. Doodle walking out now with his troops. He does have the two zealots in the front, so let's get a raw count here. We got six dragoons right now with the two zealots versus four and what will be six when they arrive. So one zealot advantage, but a closer reinforcement point for Fisheye. Doodle, yeah, going to be running into... and He's also running into his opponent. Fisheye getting some initial shots on that dragoon. Every little bit counts now. And also going to be able to take out that lead zealot. So there goes that one zealot advantage potentially. And now Fisheye recognizing the entirety of the army peeling in. Doodle getting the scouting information, but being denied otherwise. And now, yeah, he's in trouble. He was looking to maybe grab his nexus behind this. But this is going to be at such a disadvantage. Hmm. Sad to see. So he's going for the, the three gate. Fisheye just has the better build order in response is what it comes down to. And he's got his own robo building. If he tacks down one gateway of his own, he'll be A-OK. -okay and he can actually push his way upon seeing this amount of Dragoons. He knows it's a three gate opener. He can go ahead and push to a little bit later robo as well, just to make sure he gets Reavers alongside. We do have... The robotic support bay just now warping in, but keep in mind that's at quite a distance. So yeah, it might be earlier reavers from Doodle. But Fisheye is still going to have plenty of space to work that in. He's still even in overall probe counts, but looks like because of that robo drop, slowly and the close reinforcement point, he's going to have a forward staged army now dropping that fourth gateway. And actually engaging a little bit, getting some free shots. Losses on both sides. Doodle pushing it. Hoping that this is his opportunity. Probe's pulling off the line. That's another defensive advantage there for Fisheye. Hmm. Yeah. And unfortunately, this looks like it might just be a build order win. With the execution from Fisheye overall. The other problem with the Shuttle Reaver play from Doodle is he'll need to... Avoid a lot of the Fisheye Dragoons out on the ground. Fourth gateway up. Observatory being dropped. Respecting Dark Templar play over Reaver play. Worker lead, or I should say army lead to Doodle overall. Now pushing it in, but a much better spread from Fisheye. He's got eight Dragoons left versus nine Dragoons. Two more moving up, but again, the closer reinforcement point. Reaver is just now going to get produced. And that will be the one advantage Doodle's going to have overall. He's going against four gates worth of troops in comparison. Fortunately for him, Fisheye's made no movements towards counter reaver tech. Supply counts are even, so the differential in probes means there's a lead in troop count to doodle, although a lot of it's out of position to be engaging in the front. Another zealot wandering up. I think that's going to be the charge zealot to absorb the fire as it walks in. But as long as Fisheye holds... He'll have the victory. Kills that forward observer. That helps quite a bit, actually, in dealing with aggressive reavers. First reaver out towards the front is going to want to try to take pot shots. But there are the dragoons immediately moving in. Shuttle's gone now, so that reaver would have to slow fire. It's gone. And now Doodle trying to make the best and just push in and hope he has got a superior dragoon count for the victory. The probe's pulling off the line, defending themselves. He's got probes despair and actually thus far looks like he might have the advantage this is four plus the probes versus eight dragoons and they're getting it done however reinforcements are moving in but doodle through some nice micromanagement and maybe that reaver fire looks like he's gonna take it five dragoons walking forward into superior count fish igg wow
Let's, we're going to slow-mo that, uh, hold on. I'm going to pull back to the moment of truth here. I was not expecting that. I was expecting this to be... I'm going to do a rewind. Weaver drop. We're going to drop it down into slow motion here. At fast. So initial weaver hit. Fisheye actually with inferior... So the zealots just weren't engaging as well. Delayed in it. Oh, and he's got a number of dragoons that just weren't engaged in the fight here. Which is making the differential because now it's that many more troops for Doodle out on the front. If these Dragoons had been involved, just a miss rally. So the probes pulling off as well. That would have been six versus eight plus probes. Potentially a more winnable situation. But yeah, the reinforcement. Also, it looks like he's got a Dragoon queued here and he had some Dragoons not queued in other locations. Well played from Doodle, actually. To take that win, I'm shocked. I was expecting that to be an easy fisheye victory. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.